Welcome to the Weekly Bat. Welcome to the Weekly Bat, Episode 71. Kicking off with our weekly announcement, the Binance widget is now available on Android version 1.17, allowing for easy trading, buying, and managing of cryptocurrency. Here's a bit from the official blog post. Today's Brave Android browser update, version 1.17, features the Binance widget, which is already available to Brave desktop users and was the first Exchange browser integration of its kind last April. Brave Android users can now seamlessly trade and manage cryptocurrency assets, all without leaving their mobile browser. Binance is the global blockchain and cryptocurrency infrastructure provider behind the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange by trading volume and users. And Brave recently passed 20 million monthly active users and 7 million daily active users. This year, the browser also became the number one rated browser in Google Play. The integration of the Binance widget directly into the Brave Android browser allows millions of users to access Binance.com or Binance.us and makes accessing cryptocurrency seamless. Link to the full announcement is in the blog. Up next, we have the highlights from our recent AMA with Brave's VP of Engineering, Brian Clifton. Our ongoing AMA series is an opportunity for our users and fans to get to know the Brave team to chat with them directly, and to illuminate the work and contributions of our team members. Work that, in many cases, takes place largely behind the scenes. Most recently, we were joined by Brian Clifton, VP of Engineering at Brave, who spent the afternoon fielding both pre-submitted and live questions from the community on Reddit. Brian cheerfully retold the story of how he came to join Brave back in 2016 while the company was still in its infancy revealed what he views as his most meaningful contributions to the project to date. He was one of the engineers leading the migration from Brave's old backend architecture known as Muon to BraveCore, and discussed improvements, additions, and features coming to Brave in the not-so-distant future, such as highly requested vertical tabs. Brian spoke about some of his passions outside of work, which include spending quality time with his family and restoring older cars, and offered some advice on navigating the job force and workplace, the importance of treating others with kindness and respect, and reaching out for help when you need it. Link to the highlights post as well as to the full AMA can be found in the blog post. Up next, Brave CTO Brian Bondi writes on Twitter, We are looking for an experienced quality assurance engineer at Brave, and we'd love to work with you. You can find the Quality Assurance Engineer opening as well as other job openings at brave.com careers. If you think you have what it takes, please apply. Up next, if you haven't already updated your browser to version 1.17 on desktop, you should do so now because 1.17 features a totally made over tipping banner. We really like the new look and feel of the tipping banner, but we'd love to hear your thoughts on it. There is a thread linked in the blog post where you can tell us what you think. Your opinion matters to us. This week in Sponsored Images. This week, Brave welcomes Bitbuy and Gate.io to the new tab page, and welcomes returning sponsors PayPal, Purple, eToro, Crypto.com, BitPay, and AAX. Our ever-expanding list of new tab page sponsors includes Verizon, Intel, Newegg, Western Digital, The Home Depot, Chipotle, Khan Academy, and more. To learn about how sponsored images can help promote your business, check out our case studies page at brave.com slash brave dash ads slash case studies, all one word. Again, that's brave.com slash brave dash ads slash case studies, all one word. Brave Creator Spotlight, in partnership with Everipedia. This week's featured creator is Muro Crypto on YouTube. Muro Crypto is an investor, trader, and crypto Twitter personality of Turkish descent who is best known for his self-titled YouTube channel and its crypto-related content. Muro Crypto, the channel, includes technical analyses, market updates, and trading tutorials for seasoned crypto fans and beginners alike. In the blog post, we have links to Muro Crypto's Everypedia page where you can learn more about him. We also have links to his Twitter and YouTube channel, of course. Client Updates This week, the Desktop Nightly channel graduated to version 1.19.24, the Desktop Dev channel graduated to version 1.18.59, 
the desktop beta channel progressed to version 1.18.57, and the desktop release channel progressed to version 1.17.73. Oh, and also Brave for Android jumped to version 1.17. And you know I'm going to give you the weekly spiel about making sure that you keep your Brave browser up to date at all times in order to stay ahead of bugs and benefit from all of the latest updates and fixes. To update your Brave browser on desktop, go to brave colon double slash help. You just type that into the URL bar in Brave and it'll take you to the right page. On mobile, if you don't receive updates automatically, you can manually update your Brave browser app from the Play or iOS app stores. Bat and Brave in the news. This first piece is from CNET. Google gets web allies by letting outsiders help build Chrome's foundation. Google is loosening control over the core of its Chrome browser, a move that helps Microsoft, Samsung, and Brave build competitors while advancing the search giant's vision of the web. Over the past six months, Google welcomed a new outside developer into the leadership of its Chromium project, the software that powers the similarly named browser. The Alphabet subsidiary is also granting outsiders access to its previously proprietary software development system that allows outside features even when Google doesn't incorporate them into the flagship Chrome browser. News from our partners. Enter Tap Network's sweepstakes using BAT for a chance to win a PlayStation 5 Digital Edition, Xbox Series X, or $200 gift card for Amazon or Walmart. Tap Network is kicking off the first of several pre-Black Friday events with deals that you need to check out. Enter now for your chance to win just in time for Black Friday. All Brave users with Uphold Verified Wallets are eligible to enter Tap Network's ongoing sweepstakes. Just head over to the sweepstakes page at brave.tapnetwork.io and choose the sweepstakes you want to enter. Then enter as many times as you desire. It costs less than one bat per entry. Other sweepstakes offerings from Tap include digital gift cards of your choice from hundreds of retailers including amazing brands like Amazon, GameStop, Nintendo, and more. If you haven't verified your Brave Rewards wallet yet, the TAP network provides a range of options for you to redeem your earned bat for gift cards, sweepstakes, and to support causes like Know Your Rights Camp and Hashtag Lunch Bag. News you should know. Evan Van Ness, who runs the Week in Ethereum News blog and Week in Ethereum News newsletter, recently started a podcast called the Crypto News Podcast. And in this episode, we are featuring episode four, titled DeFi Dad. Here's an episode description. Zapperfy's chief DeFi officer, DeFi Dad, does a decent bit of interviews himself. So I put him on the other side of the mic to get his story. We have the link to the episode in the blog post. This next piece is from Bankless. How to maximize your ledger. Dear Bankless Nation, safely storing your crypto is an essential skill for anyone on the Bankless journey. Trusting centralized exchanges to custody your crypto portfolio isn't smart. Hacks, outages, and services pauses can happen at any time. Exchanges are like public bathrooms. You use them, and then you get out. To take full control of your money in this new frontier, you need to learn how to store your crypto assets in a way that balances security with ease of use. That's where Ledger comes in. They have one of the industry-leading hardware wallets, so you can self-custody all of your crypto assets with peace of mind. And for those avid DeFi users, Ledger can integrate with MetaMask so you can access your favorite Ethereum apps and yield farms. They're even adding DeFi to Ledger Live. Also, and this is awesome, Ledger just released a firmware update to their newest wallet that supports ETH2 deposits, a great tool for stakers making their deposits. Bottom line, there are only a few items I consider required equipment for your bankless journey, and a Ledger wallet is one of them. So let's learn how to use it. Full post linked in the blog. Hashoshi. Ethereum 2.0 will be delayed, BTC bull run, and crypto news. Crypto Over Coffee, episode 40. In this episode of Crypto Over Coffee, Hashoshi breaks down why Ethereum 2.0 is not looking likely to launch on December 1st, and how Ethereum can solve the slow deposit problem, along with talk about Bitcoin's price surge recently, and what it might mean for a crypto bull run. That's a wrap for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you would like to read the full stories whose headlines we cover on the podcast, be sure to read the accompanying Weekly Bat blog post. 
You can find that on backcommunity.org always. Or if you're listening on YouTube, check the description box below the video for a link. And if you're listening on a podcast app or player, check the show notes.